Hello beautiful people and welcome to Lip Balm Kiss TV. So today I'm going to be doing my updated makeup routine. It is highly requested and yeah, I got y'all. So first off, we're starting off with a freshly moisturized and cleansed face. Going in with our Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. Everything you see will be linked below in the description box. But we're just brushing our brows up to the desired style. You're gonna take a very thin brush with your Anastasia Beverly Hills Granite Brow Duo Powder and just brush upward. I am liking the straight fluffy brows here lately and you guys seem to love them too. So you just do that until it's your desired look. I go in and conceal my brows with LA Girl Pro Concealer. And then we're gonna set our eyelid with the translucent shade Honey from Laura Mercier. Just gonna lightly tap that powder into the lid. We're actually using Juvia's Place, um, the Warrior II for this entire video. So everything you see will be out of this palette. But for now, we're gonna use this shade. Ooh, I can't even tell what the name is because I used it too much and it's covered. But this is our transition shade. It's that brown one on the top left. And you're gonna use that just as your transition. We're going for like, this is my signature look. I always do this look. It's kind of like a cranberry slash magenta type of look, but you're just packing that onto the eyelid. This is how I do my smoky eye and it works. I just pack it on and then I take a blending brush and blend out the edges until it's completely seamless, like no harsh lines. Now this particular lash look came from I See Hair, which is a hair company and they sent lashes over with the wig. So I just took some duo lash glue and used some tweezers to apply them. Usually I apply them with my fingers, but my nails are really long right now. The tweezers I can grab and kind of squeeze them into my natural lashes and make sure they're applied thoroughly. Next we're going in with our e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is the best primer I have ever used, y'all. Like, your face will literally be sticky after applying it. So I just cover my entire face with that and kind of let it dry. This is the best primer I've ever used. Now we're going in with our Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS in the shade Bellum. And then we're taking a, just a foundation brush and kind of patting it into the skin. I used to use beauty blenders, but here recently I realized that I like the look I get more with brushes. It gives me more of a full coverage look, I feel like. Now we're going to go in with our Milani Concealer all under the eyes in the shade 160. And I really like a really bright under eye, so this is the first concealer of three. I use like three different concealers, sometimes four for my under eyes. I Like I said, I like a really bright under eye, so this part, you don't have to do as many as me. Next, we're going in with the Tarte Creaseless Concealer in the shade Tan Deep and going over that Milani just as our next highlight color. All of these brushes besides two of them are from Morphe, and I will leave the Morphe set below so you guys can just cop that but you wanna lightly tap your edges of your concealer. Do not blend and swipe and move it around. You wanna practice product placement control, so you only want to tap on the edges initially to get it actually blended into your skin. While that is sitting under my eye, I'm gonna do go ahead and do my T-zone, which is the middle of my forehead, down my nose, my chin, and my cupid's bow. And like I said, you just wanna tap very lightly on any harsh lines on the outside of where you place the concealer to make sure that it actually stays under your eye. Next, we're gonna take a powder puff. I got a pack of these on Amazon and you're just kind of further blending, blending, blending. And you just really wanna take your time on this part because you gotta remember you put a lot of product to highlight and you don't want it to slide around and cover your whole face. So take your time and blend this out first with the blush and then with the powder puff. Now we're going in with Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan, and this will be our last concealer to go at right under where the bags are. So I do have bags and yeah, we gotta conceal those. So I'm actually gonna take my lash fan and dry this concealer to make sure that it really sets before I blend it out. So same thing, after you blend it with your brush, you go in with your powder puff and blend it until you see no harsh lines or until your desired look. Once you've got it all blended, you go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, the same one we used earlier, and just build it up little by little. Once you've set your under eyes completely, you wanna set your entire face with a light amount. I think a lot of people bake and it makes them look, I don't know, but this is what works better for me, just using a little bit of powder to set the entire face. 
Once we've set our face, we can go in and contour with those top left shades of brown. I love a deep contour. So it's gonna look like I'm going in on the contour, but trust me, we are gonna blend it out and it is gonna be fabulous. <laughs> Now you wanna grab you a very small brush and use that same first sh shade of brown and look down and contour your nose. You can do this as small or as wide as you like. I like a really snatched nose and you're gonna drag that up into the beginning of the brow for a seamless contour. Now you wanna take that same brush, go into that initial cranberry shade that we used and drag that along the lower lash line and it is biddable to your desired look. Now we're going in with our KISS 24 Hour Luxury Eyeliner. It is supposed to be waterproof and I think it is because my eyes water a lot and I've never had it run down my face not once or spread. So yeah, we're going in with this in the lower lash line as well. Following up with our Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara on the lower lash line as well. And I also go and trace that over the strips on the top just to give it more of a defined look. I ordered this cute little freckle pin off a of TikTok shop and you just basically grab it and place the freckles wherever you would like. I love a lot of them, so yeah, we go in on the freckles. Now we're going in with the white shade from that same palette and doing our inner corner and our brow highlight. Next, we're going in with the OG highlighter from MAC Gold Deposit and a highlight brush, and we're just going to lightly stroke our the highest point of our cheek, our cupid's bow, and our nose, just a little bit. I don't always use highlight, but today is the vibe. Next, you're going to wipe your lips clean of any makeup, and then we are going to get straight into lip lining with MAC's Chestnut. Um, this is another OG from MAC, and I use it. It works well. A lot of y'all say that I line my lips way too much, but this is what I like, okay? I like my lips to look ridiculous. I like them to look just ridiculous is the best way to put it. You, lip, you line your lips how you would like. After that, we are going to blend out our liner to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Let me know if you guys overline your lips or not, or am I just being crazy right now? Next, we're going in with Remedy by Ari in the shade Warm Kiss. I think it's really cute. The formula is not the best, but I think it's really cute, so I still wear it, honestly. I don't like wasting money. I bought it. I'm going to wear it, okay? We're gonna go over that with Ruby Kisses Super Gloss. I got this from my local beauty supply and I'm just kind of going over that to give it more of a peachy color versus a nude color. I think it just goes well with this. This is another local beauty supply. If you know, you know. Y'all let me know if y'all have tried this lip balm from Beauty Supply. It is the bomb. Y'all see that? Now, as far as our setting sprays, we're going in with All Nighter by Urban Decay as well as One Size Beauty but by Patrick Star. But to be honest, I have not found one that just doesn't transfer my makeup completely. If you guys know of a good setting spray better than any of these, let me know. Um, because like I said, these are good, but I need something that's A1. And this is the final look, y'all. This is what I did for my birthday makeup last year, and I absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think, and thank you again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.